hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is diafne if you're new here welcome bienvenue and thank you for clicking on today's video as you can see by the title today we're going to do a what fits in my alma beauty in a mini review i am super 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 excited because this video is in collaboration with my friend cindy also known as beautifully cindy here on youtube and on instagram i will be sure to link her channel down below and also in the i card as well as her video so you guys can check it out after you watch this one she's also doing a what fits in her alma bb and also a review without further ado let's get into the video here she is my little alma bb which i love very very much i have mine in the damia ben print with the gold hardware and the inside of it is red it can be worn as a top handle and it also comes with a strap a shoulder strap you can do it a shoulder bag or a crossbody i've never worn mine as a crossbody because i don't really like it as a crossbody i like it more as a top handle i find that it is more elegant just a lot prettier this way it does come with a lock and two keys I never really use them, but it's good to know that we have it. I really, really love this bag. I can say that I've had this bag for about four to six months. I, I didn't keep count. And I've worn it multiple times and it fit casually, formally, business casual. It doesn't matter. It fits in every single setting which is why i think it's very good the versatility of this bag i love that it has the feet underneath so if you put the bag wherever on any surface it will not get tarnished the leather won't get tarnished you guys know that this is a coated canvas this is not real leather but i still think this bag is definitely worth it because it will last you a very very long time i think this is a very good bag to have as your first luxury bag if you're thinking of getting a luxury bag this one is a really good one to add to your collection like i said i've had this for about four to six months maybe a little longer and it has held its shape very well there are no scratches at all the bag is still intact i don't have to really fill it with anything for it to hold its shape one little thing about the bag it is kind of tiny like a small if you force it to hold too much when you zip it up the shape will kind of be a little wonky so you have to be careful of how you fit things in this bag and also how you fix your things inside i'm going to show you how i fix my things to make sure that this bag holds everything that i needed to so stay tuned for that so the inside of this bag okay so the inside of this bag is this pretty cherry red color like the inside of the never fools in the damia ben print that red so that material on the inside is like a soft material so it does collect dust sometimes all you have to do is shake it out and you'll be fine i have no issue with this bag i have been loving it since i got it i wear it all the time it goes with everything like i said jeans dresses whatever i'm wearing sweatpants this bag just goes with so so much so i really think it's a great investment i think it goes for about 14 80 1500 but you guys do know louis vuitton always has a price increase i'll be sure to put the correct price on the screen for you guys and i'll also link this bag down below i found that the damia event print was a little bit more versatile because it's more toned down than the monogram print i found that the monogram print was a little loud for me that it wouldn't fit with every single thing in my wardrobe but this one is absolutely perfect it goes with my colors you guys know i'm trying to incorporate a little bit more color into my wardrobe so it goes with that it goes with my neutrals it goes with absolutely every single thing and i really 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 love this bag i think it's a great investment and i don't regret one bit getting this bag so again um as far as wear and tear i find that this bag holds up pretty well it's a very durable bag i do not baby this bag 
but it's still in great condition in great condition you guys nothing like i have no issue with this bag the hardware is still gold and shiny i just have a little bit of scratch on the hardware but i guess that's normal for me unzipping and zipping and unzipping and zipping and throwing it whatever and also i have just a little bit of scuff mark on the gold that's on the feet which is normal because you put your bag on a surface and that's what it's there for anyway i did not show you guys the strap that it came with it comes with this strap right here it's a pretty great length and it just fits perfectly it's pretty cute as a crossbody but i just don't like it as a crossbody i feel like on my body it just kind of lays a little awkwardly so honestly i feel like this bag is versatile it is durable it also is just a very nice it's a nice investment as a first bag as an add-on to already started collection so all in all this is definitely worth it you guys i have nothing bad to say about this i mean they do have different colors i will put them on the screen for you guys to see they do have a monogram and i think they have some others in the epi and they have some other colors as well some other fun colors that i think i saw this one was the one i feel like fit my personality my wardrobe and just my vibe the most it is definitely worth it i think even if you're just beginning your luxury collection this bag is a great bag to get and the reason why i say this is because this bag can be worn in the morning you can run errands with this you can go to dinner with this you can take this to work if you want to this is just a very versatile bag like this is a bag you can do a lot with so i've done everything with this bag even if it's small it does fit pretty much all my necessities like i make all my necessities fit in here like i'm gonna show you guys um and the what fits in my bag portion so yeah let's get into that part all right you guys so when you open my bag the first thing you see is an airpod this is the airpod with the airpod case that i showed you guys in my May collective haul i'll link it up here for you guys to check out on the right side i have my key holder this is the six ring key holder this is the lv six ring key holder in the damia event print i don't know if you guys remember i think i was talking about it in my farfetch video and i randomly just found it on the website and i quickly snatched it because like i told you guys these are always sold out in my mind i thought they were not even gonna make them anymore but i was so happy to get it I just have my car keys my house keys and because the bag is so small i also stuff my license and one debit card in here next up i have my toiletry pouch 15. these are discontinued you guys so if you really want one get your hands on them they're definitely discontinuing them they're not even on the website anymore i was lucky my essay found me this it was the last one left in the store and i just rushed i drove an hour to get this because i really really wanted it so i am super happy but in here i keep my makeup lip gloss perfume i just have a kylie lip gloss my little chanel perfume that looks like a lipstick my little touch up powder that also has a mirror i have a mask just in case and then i have a little brush in case i have to touch up and i have a little small mascara as well the next pouch we have is this little pouch i got it's a cosmetic little bag i got it from bloomingdale's and in here i have my feminine things a little before you go toilet spray you never know a little deodorant because it's summer and i like to reapply hand sanitizer a little this is for my glasses when i have glasses for me to clean them a little lotion sample and then i have pads in here and i also have some clorox 
wipes in here this is literally all that i have in this bag and everything fit you guys now this is the strategy i was telling you guys in order to make your things fit your necessities fit you have to put them in pouches that's the only way well that's the best way i found that all my things fit in this little bag and this is the inside of the bag like i was saying it is this cherry red color but it does collect a little dust i just have to shake it out or use like a towel or something to wipe inside of it and it will be fine I don't really put my phone in here because I always have my phone in my hand so that doesn't matter to me. And as far as the card case, it can hold a card case but just me personally, I don't like to stuff too many things up in here because it does lose the shape a little bit when you're like trying to zip it. It will zip but it will just do this wonky shape at the top that I don't really like. So I try to keep the things at a minimum and all is good in the neighborhood. <laughs> So this is the end of the video you guys I want to thank you so much for watching thank you for hanging out with me don't forget to like comment and subscribe down below I hope you enjoyed this video I truly hope you find this video also helpful and that if you do not have an Alma BB you do think of getting one after this review also don't forget to check out Cindy's video and her channel everything will be linked down below for you guys and also in the iCard. Don't forget, check her out, subscribe to her channel, say hi. <laughs> yeah, so I'll see you guys very soon in my next video. Bye. <laughs>